This is Children's Mental Health Awareness Week in Maryland. Mental health providers are trying to spread the message that a child's mental health is just as important as their physical health. For this week's Take Action Thursday, Katherine Bradshaw, Associate Professor of the Department of Mental Health at Johns Hopkins, joins us this morning with a look at how to keep kids mentally healthy. Good morning. Good morning. And so what would be some of the biggest challenges that get in the way of kids being mentally uh, healthy and safe and sound? Well, one area that we're particularly concerned with these days is the issue of bullying. Mm -hmm. We know that approximately 30% of youth are involved in bullying on a frequent basis. And that's based both on national data as well as data that we've collected here in Maryland Public Schools. And when you say involved in bullying, do you mean on both sides of it? Exactly, because you can be involved in bullying as a victim as mm -hmm. well as a perpetrator. And then there is a relatively small group, approximately 6% of youth that are involved as both a perpetrator and a victim. And what are the impacts of that, no matter what side of the the fence you're on with it, what are the impacts, uh, short term and long term? Sure, there's been growing research documenting impacts on academic performance. It could lead to distraction in the classroom environment, students not attending school and thus not doing very well in their classes. Also, there are a host of mental health concerns. Mm -hmm. Some could include substance use, like using alcohol or drugs to cope with the concerns. Also, concerns around uh, internalizing problems like depression, anxiety that could distract them from their relationships with their family or their peers. And sometimes kids can develop aggressive behavior problems as well. Now, you all want it compared to physical health, but some people say, you know, physical health could result in diseases, it could result in things that could be fatal. Why does the mental health aspect of it, and even the bullying, um, rate just as significant as the physical mm -hmm. side? Well, with regard to mental health concerns, we know that there is a high level of co-occurrence between behavioral health as well as mental health, so your mental health can very well impact your physical health. Mm -hmm. For example, if you're really stressed out, that affects your release of a... Uh, a the serotonin transmitter and factors that impact your overall health as well as your stress levels, including ser uh, cortisol that okay. really impact your functioning of your heart. They work hand in hand. They work hand in hand. All right, well, we had a lot of questions on Facebook from our viewers, so we're going to get you to stick around right after the break. Catherine Bradshaw is going to be back to take your calls about children's mental health. So if you have a question, our phone lines are open now at 410-481-4545. You can also send us a tweet at Fox Baltimore or go through our Facebook page. 7.51 is the time. You're watching Fox 45 Morning News, all local, all morning. 